In some parts of the USA and Canada, there are currently fires called wildfires that are burning up huge areas of forests. These fires cause large amounts of smoke, which, due to wind, may be present in the air where you live. The smoke in the air can cause health difficulties for people. While exposure to this smoke can hurt the health of everyone, certain groups of people may be at greater risk, including children, older adults, people with a history of heart disease or stroke, people who are pregnant, people who work outside, and people who are unhoused. Depending on how much time you spend outside, how active you are, and the amount of smoke that you are exposed to, you could end up feeling really sick. Symptoms could include sore eyes, a sore throat, a runny nose, headaches, tiredness, coughing, trouble breathing, asthma attacks, a rapid heartbeat, and even chest pain. When there is a lot of smoke in the air, the best way to avoid breathing in smoke is to stay inside with your windows and doors closed. Consider not going outside to exercise or do activities during smoky or cloudy conditions. Choose one or more rooms that you can close off and keep clean from the smoke. Spend most of your time in these rooms. Keep doors and windows closed to prevent outdoor smoke from entering the room. Use air conditioning or fans when it's hot. If possible, set your air conditioning to recirculate indoor air to avoid bringing outside air into your home. If you don't have an air conditioner, staying inside with the windows closed may be dangerous in extremely hot weather. If you are hot and there is smoke, go someplace with air conditioning or to an indoor cooling site. If you have to go outside, take frequent breaks indoors or in spaces where the air is cleaner. Also consider wearing a good mask. When it is unhealthy for you to spend time outdoors, it is also unhealthy for your pets. Keep your pets inside when possible. If you have to go outside on days where air quality is poor, instead of walking or biking, consider driving or using public transport. If your symptoms are getting worse, then you may need to contact your healthcare provider. If you can't manage your symptoms on your own, then you might need to call 911, go to urgent care, or an emergency department.